Apart from dynamics, the articulation parameters are probably those that excite me the most in the string ensemble. The ability to quickly change from one articulation to the other in one single performance on one channel gives you the ultimate control, being able to express, chop, and change throughout your score. For those of you who don't know, Sordino is just when the string players have a mute on the body part of their violin. It's just a small plastic or rubber casing that sits over the strings, making them less loud. Next we have tremolo, which is some very fast bow action. Staccato, which is when the bow is hitting and then coming off almost instantly. Spiccato, when the bow hits the string at such a speed that it bounces off and it sounds that little bit more aggressive compared to staccato. After spiccato, we have pizzicato, which is when the string players do not use their bow but actually pick at the strings with their fingers. And the final two slots are empty. You can actually add any articulation you want to these slots later on. One thing you might have noticed as we change through the different articulations is that these key switches here change on the keyboard. So as I move up, you'll see that it circles through the first three red notes. And as it becomes green, it actually then moves on to the green notes. One, two, three. The key switches are currently set to the highest part of my MIDI keyboard. We can actually change the articulations in real time via the MIDI keyboard by playing back a melody and then just clicking on these different keys. Notice as I click on them, I go through the different articulations. In the next video, we'll be getting a little bit deeper into the articulation section, showing you how to set up your own personalized key switches and having a look at some of the unique options that some of the other articulations have to offer.